Today, we are tackling a different type of destroyed deck and breaking out the lesser used cards. Atuma is first up, who destroys another card with less power in his same lane, and one of those cards he might destroy is Sabretooth, another barely used destroy card. There is also Bucky Barnes, who you used to see a lot of in the early days of Marvel Snap's Destroy decks, but you barely see now. When destroyed, he turns into the Winter Soldier. Other cards we are looking to destroy include Squirrel Girl and X-23, who will also give you bonus energy. We also destroy cards with Carnage and Killmonger. Hey, Auntie. And a special call out for Venom, because when he eats a lane, he keeps and locks in that power for that lane, which helps to buff your Null and also discounts death. We round out the deck with Arnhem so la, 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 la. who can of course duplicate some of your large targets like Venom, Death, or Null, and Shang-Chi, or Sean, who can also buff your Null. An earlier version of this deck had Grandmaster instead of the Atuma spot, so feel free to experiment with him in this deck to make it even weirder. This deck's biggest counters are Mobius and Sandman. Mobius because he restricts, of course, the cost reduction we have in this deck, and Sandman because we can only play out one card. So just use an abundance of caution when you are facing those decks. Okay, first up, we are against Tsuj. Mirror Dimension, I will be patient on the X-23, but we actually have a very decent starting hand. Eight cards after turn one. We are playing in the middle. Uh, undo. With Atuma, being able to play Sabretooth and have Atuma target that is nice. So I will play X-23 left. Okay, that actually works out fantastic if they are going to try to junk me. There goes that. <laughs> play Bucky mid. And then Atuma middle. And it's about time I snap. Because I'm going to have a significantly large Venom. Snap. And we drew into Carnage. Fantastic. So this is just shaping up to be a fantastic first game. Carnage, next turn left. We have Venom, middle, and then finish that off with a Null. Just fantastic. We will have extra energy. I don't know how much that discounts death. But this is the play we will do. We will go Venom and Carnage. I'm doing this weird play order just in case they, for some reason, have an arrow in their deck. <laughs> we will see. So this is a significantly large Venom. And of course, we have Null that has absorbed all of this power, especially from the Venom. Locking that power in an Ajax left, so we probably don't win left. But I really want to challenge that with no. <laughs> really badly. Because their Ajax is at 7. We'll do it. In case they don't play for here, I should be able to win the tiebreaker. And this is unexpected. Okay, so we should win a tiebreaker... Power must be controlled. Fantastic. And you see exactly why I played this way. Exactly why I played this way. Because if they have Sean, and they, they did, kind of. <laughs> so if they have Sean, you force them to have to play right. Now, if they make a mistake and they don't play right you can easily win the tiebreaker because Null just keeps that power to himself and now he's doubling in throne room forget it 
So this is why we play this way. It required our opponent to participate and help us out and not play for all three lanes. But for me, it was worth that gamble just because of how much power I had on the board and Null was always going to keep it. So I was willing to roll, roll that die on the potential tiebreaker. Okay, next up we have Nick. Wakandan Embassy, that is fantastic for the Sabretooth. I will hold on turn one. Eight cards in deck on turn one, so it is a normal deck. I will play Squirrel Girl into the unknown. Now it is where do I play Sabretooth and Carnage? Right? It is. <laughs> and maybe I can get lucky and draw into Venom to lock in that power instead of Carnage. Okay, Surfer, it is. So I think it's X-23 and Venom. That way, next turn I have six energy. I can potentially Zola. And I don't know if I want priority. Because if this is Surfer, can they get their broods high enough? No, their broods wouldn't be in Shang-Chi range. So maybe I do go for it. Go for the Zola. But I want to lock in some more power middle. So I hate doing these big power plays on turn 5 because it loses out on cubes. So I would really like to think of a way to have them stick around because I, I really shouldn't lose this game. It would be doing Surfer now or Mystique now. Fifteen... Ugh. I'm going to hold off. Does that does this mean I don't keep priority? Let's see if this means I don't keep priority. But I should have saved the carnage. I didn't have enough time to think. I did not have enough time to think. So if this is Surfer, I mean, I mean, <laughs> we just load up here and then do one of these numbers? Okay. Come on, hit more of those broods. Okay, so this is a fantastic example of on turn five, me thinking through how do I get four cubes out of this game? How do I do it? I need to not have priority. That is juicy. I need to not have priority and I need to set it up. <laughs> So I can prolong the game. If I had zola potentially, potentially, that scares them. Because now I put all, I, they might think that I have a large no that I could slam middle, and that just obliterates them. Having a huge Venom, or a large Venom, I forget the cards now that I would have had. It would have been a lot of points in these left two lanes. They still could have thought, eh, Ironheart and Silver Surfer can still win. But I wanted to make, oh, I would have had priority. That would have been the issue with Arnim Zoloing the Venom. But even if I hadn't, I talked through the, the other side of that coin. So by playing how I did on turn five, I ensured, I thought in the best of my ability, that I wouldn't have had priority going into turn six. I ran out of time and thinking. 
but I was still able to assess it. I did not have priority going into turn six. And that sets up the juicy Sean because we knew what deck they were. And we, instead of potentially only getting two cubes, we got four out of them. Alrighty, next up we have Crabine. Carnage, Atuma, Arnhem, and No. We have our higher curve cards. We would ideally like lower curve cards now. We are going up against a normal deck. They have eight cards on turn one. With Gamma Lab, I think I just throw the Carnage there. I can always Venom afterwards and then potentially Zola. We are going up against the Destroy deck. Wakandan Embassy. I get down the X-23. And so this is just going to be... Oh, they're really rolling the die. Enough said, Bob. Okay, that bounced the wrong way for them. And the wrong way for them again. And into Crimson Cosmos, which means they can't easily interact with it anymore. Because most of the, of the destroy cards are cheaper. Their route is probably a null. So I just need more power middle than what got destroyed. And I don't have a way to put my null on the board early. I will play a Tuma middle. What kind of weird deck is this? I could do a Sean and take out that Hulk. We'll continue on the Venom path. Nimrod, okay. And why didn't Nimrod get that... The Shuri bonus? Am I missing something? <laughs> I should have snapped a long time ago. Oh, they played them out of order. They played Shuri and then Selene. What a colossal mistake. I think even if they played it right or correctly, Venom, so they would have it at a 12 power Nimrod, another plus six. They might have been able to contend for middle. So maybe the best play at that point is to Arnim Zola. Yeah, so if they played this correctly, I think the better play was to Arnim Zola. Because if they Venom middle, I'm not going to run the math right now. If they Venom middle, and then send it back. That's a lot of power. But I should be able to easily beat that power right and also left. Because they're not going to get up to 41 power left. Okay, next up is Brother Bev. Cancun. Fantastic. That actually is a decent Zola lane. But it is a very telegraphed Zola play. I won't do the obvious Zola play. And we will... Okay, a Phoenix Force. And now I kind of wish I would have done the obvious Zola play. And maybe I still do. So, in that case, I'm going Carnage Middle instead of Venom. And now this is just a tiebreak. Oh. Sean. This is... This is a guaranteed win, right? Right? <laughs> right? Venom, uh, what is worth more? They're both worth the same. So we definitely don't give them a free saber tooth. Venom and Killmonger? Is that okay if we give them a free Killmonger? No, because I have extra energy next turn. I think it's just Squirrel Girl.
What is this? Are they hedging? They might be hedging against me having... Oh. Nimrod, okay. X-23. And a Tuma. So we definitely take out middle because there's two targets for Sean. And then it is just a Killmonger and Sabretooth? And win on tiebreaker? Uh, let's let's order this for dramatic effect. <laughs> Killmonger, Sabretooth, and Sean? Question mark? If this is my version, maybe they have a Sean of them of their own. Oh, is this a Zola? No, it is not. I wonder if this is my version of the Phoenix Force deck or not. We are about to find out. Ooh. It is definitely not. But we clean their clock That's middle. Set, it's just do we win the tiebreaker? I want the throne. I didn't exactly do the math. Of course, X20. If that is the reason I lose this. <laughs> Down 26. Power must be controlled. Two thousand years later. I was going to like your video, but not anymore. <laughs> oh, it's the reason I lost. It is sadly the reason I lost. X23, we needed the 66% flip and we got the 33% flip. Oh, that is... That is rough. Oh, that's rough. If I had held back on the Killmonger... No, because that's just minus one point. Because the X-23 stays there. Oh, I think I win if I don't play the Killmonger. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to include this. Whether this is in the bonus clips or whether it's in the main format. I am pretty sure I will be adding an editor's note. I am pretty sure I win if I don't play Killmonger. Killmonger is worth five. I robbed myself of a two-point Squirrel Girl, a one-point Squirrel, and a four-point X-23. I forget how much I robbed myself. I, I, maybe I do the math again in an editor's note. Learn from this game and do math, <laughs> unlike me. So it's very important to analyze these games and see why you lost and was there a better way to play this game? Okay, next up we have Cricket. I am not a fan of the negative zone. They have a normal deck, eight cards. They are a destroy deck. And we have Sabretooth. So we just start getting down cards. We will play into the unknown. And hope that doesn't curse us. It does not. We will play down Sabretooth. Next turn, we will play Bucky and Carnage. We are getting all of our underused cards out to play this game. They are going with a large carnage, okay. I definitely need to change my underwear. And the Deadpool, we need to think about them potentially playing that down the Deadpool and we can also play our Killmonger. That is an option. We will get all of this stuff down now. We can Venom. Next turn, I am afraid to play Squirrel Girl because of negative zone, but maybe I just throw negative zone completely. 
Their Deadpool is at four. We need to remember this because I like to forget. Wolverine and Nova. So what is their play here? It might be... It might be Venom or Deathlock. There is Death. So I could play Death, Sabretooth, and Venom all now. And fill my hand with <laughs> Sentinels. Uh, how many, how many, so Sentinels will keep my hand where it is. One, two, three, four, five. Sabretooth would come back to my hand for six, and then I draw one card. But they might have no, so that's why I'm not snapping this game. So we will get them all down middle. This leaves us open for a Zola play. It also leaves us open for... No, or if we draw into Killmonger, they have the same idea, and they do have a free death. I definitely need to change my underwear. There is the Killmonger, but we have priority. So what we are going to do is I guess play around the Zola? So by doing this we play around the Zola? I don't know what this deck is, we'll just roll the die. It doesn't appear to be Zola. But they played two cards, so it's not... Am I gonna get Sean? <laughs> Let's find out. And the Sabretooth, middle, there is the death, and the null. They played them in the wrong spots. So this is why I didn't snap, because this game very easily could have gone their way. If they played null into negative zone, it was just a massive gamble. And either player could have won this game. Thankfully, I came out on the winning end, and I got to showcase... The Sabretooth and the Bucky, who is Winter Soldier, who is not existent anymore, part of Venom. We were able to play Zola. I hedged in case they were doing a potential Zola line. I still would have won middle. And this was, like I said, always going to be a gamble of where they played. And they gambled incorrectly, and we gambled the right way. Okay, next up, we are against Fader. Nine cards because they haven't drawn. And now it's down to eight, so they are a normal deck. We end our turn. Phoenix Force it is. So we shall hold on to Killmonger. Never mind, it is a move deck. Jeez, they are getting so many advantages this game. You're not gonna snap? <laughs> Where are our destroy cards? That would be nice to have. Okay. Feel the breath, no judgment. Why haven't they snapped yet, is the question. Okay, their Cravens are gonna get huge. Wow. I really should have played Scroll Girl right, left with the Killmonger. I can't pull back this Sabretooth. Ugh. So how many cards am I destroying? I think I'll have enough energy? I don't even know. This is... Uh, I'm playing against move is so, uh... <laughs> so confusing. So much to calculate. And then with all of the... I can't snap because of all of the move. 
Oh, they didn't move the Cravens. That is interesting. Okay, what's my death down to? Can I play both Null and Death? I think so. Oh, I definitely can now. <laughs> Okay, so death is down to free. Yeah, it was a lot for me to calculate just on my side. Okay, we can take out... Maybe? We cannot? So middle is a lost cause. But does no one death just win? How much energy do I have? I mean, that's 32 power. I'm gonna snap. snap. In Conquest, the snapping rules are a little different. So we're going Death, Null, and Sean. That should never lose. I'm plugged middle, so who cares about middle? So this should never lose unless they have... Eliath? But conquest is different because you are you are giving them knowledge. So they are going to pay for this knowledge that I have Death, Null, and Sean. They're going to pay for it. And so if they want to pay me four cubes for this knowledge, then that is what I they will do. The Sorcerer Supreme. I am the Sorcerer Supreme. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. So this, this is a very, very easy win. So they had to pay four cubes to learn, Power essentially, that I had shown in my deck. That's what they're paying for. And so in Conquest, last turn snaps are very acceptable if you are giving them knowledge of your deck. If you have some kind of surprise or tech card, Chongxi, Eliath, Claw, Valkyrie, Quake, Legion, you snap before you play your surprise cards. <laughs> like and subscribe. And make it very difficult for them to continue the match. As this player exhibited, they wanted no parts of Sean. They're building up all of these big power cards. Craven, Vulture, Human Torch. I have Killmonger for Human Torch. I have Shang-Chi for Vulture and Kraven. I have Null, which grows, takes that power so I could let their Human Torch grow and steal that power from my Null. A lot of good ways to win against this deck. And that is why we snapped last turn and we were just well positioned, even though they had Great Web and Strange Academy, two locations that heavily favor their deck. Sinister London probably favors our deck more, but Great Web and Strange Academy are for them. And another good showcase of how powerful this deck can be. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. Watching this deep into the video helps the channel grow. So big props to you all. Thank you for sticking through this long, through the ups and the downs. Hopefully it was not that many downs. Also, I may start including some more unedited bonus clips after the end for people that are more interested in watching more games play out. And I definitely don't want to forget the members of the channel. They are a huge asset. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all of you. And thank you, thank you, thank you. This deck is firmly an off-meta destroy deck. There are probably, very likely, different versions of this deck and also a tuma decks and saber well not saber tooth decks but a tuma decks that will be more meta but this channel as you all are well aware wants nothing to do with meta decks so originally this had grandmaster like i said at the beginning of the video that definitely is an odd inclusion maybe the most replaceable card is Bucky in this list. I might try to experiment with that if I were you all. Maybe you throw in a Nimrod to work better with a Tuma. 
Maybe you throw in Grandmaster for the Bucky spot. It seemed like the most cuttable version of this. I am a huge fan of the Sabretooth and Atuma bundle because you can just keep throwing Sabretooth into that lane and further discount your death and further build up your null. And then that just works well with the Venom. It's just fantastic when it all comes together. Hopefully you try out the deck. It's a ton of fun. It's a different way to play Destroy. So it's also a different way of thinking about it. But I hope you enjoy and have some success. We have No It Doesn't. Our hand is a little weird. We do have Killmonger, so if I can take priority, put a card from each player's hand. I guess I play Bucky here. If Carnage lands, if Atuma lands, and if Arnhem lands. So that's three out of five cards in my hand. So let's see what Sakar pulls. It did indeed pull Arnim Zola. Cut off one head, two more shall take its place. Does this give us priority? It does give us priority. So I could, what deck am I going up against? A regular deck, just a basic Misty Knight. Boy, you don't see many of those. And a basic shocker. This is not high Evo, or they forgot to put high Evo in their deck. <laughs> Let's see. So maybe I hold on to Killmonger, and I put a Tuma right, which means I Carnage over here because negative zone is not great. This is definitely a Patriot deck. So I am saving Killmonger until the last possible second. Now, with Nolan Hand, with Nolan Hand, do I play down a Tuma and give up a lane? I will play. I will play a Tuma mid. Hope that takes out the Zola. Yeah, there's the Patriot. Okay, it took out the Atuma. I also could. If I anticipate a. If I anticipate a the android, who is the robot? <laughs> Ultron. If I anticipate an Ultron. But I don't know if they are going to Ultron or not. And they would Ultron left. Ten out of ten times. They Ultron left. Because that fills up these other lanes. They of course can't Ultron right. So can we just beat that? A Luke Cage? That gets me to four? That's not enough. Because the bots are worth two, four, five, ten. So they get to 15 here? Because I can't play Killmonger over here because of the Cosmo. And this doesn't work. Uh, because of the Cosmo, yeah, I can't. I can't pull this out. I will retreat later. They... Escape. Yeah, there were no permutations there. Where I could pull this out. I needed to be able to Luke Cage and Killmonger both in the negative zone. And I couldn't because of Cosmo. Okay, next up we have a chill polar bear. Krakoa is kind of fantastic for a Tuma. 
We will be patient. Eight cards in deck on turn one. We are running out of spots to play. Girl Girl and X23. And then I can play Carnage. They haven't played yet. Let's see where all this stuff lands. We of course play Atuma into Krakoa. Let's see what deck this is before I snap. <laughs> I have no clue what deck I'm playing. <sighs> Atuma down here. I guess I continue to wait. Okay, finally. We're gonna learn what deck they are because they're playing in the Krakoa. Jubilee, come on. Show me show me what deck I you am. are. I am. Living Tribunal. Okay. We are going up against a Living Tribunal deck. Yeesh. <laughs> what a Sean. Uh, let's see. Killmonger? Yes. Okay, I guess they have what they need. <laughs> I'm still gonna play this out. Try to get Death to be free. Get the Null as well pumped up. And potentially double that. They did not add any... Hopefully they added one point to their Living Tribunal and I can shawn it. But that Jubilee play into Krakoa isn't the best for me since I have Sean. I don't have any tech in this deck. So that's always an issue. Rest hmm. in peace. Hmm. Death. Zola. Venom. Dawn. They have priority. I guess we just get a massive amount of power? Death is free? And we miss out on shanging their tribunal. Impressed. But this is probably a onslaught, yeah. My mighty hand. And I don't know if I have enough power. What's the math on this? If they play Living Tribunal, that's plus 10, let's say, plus 4. 14 to 82. What's 82 divided by 3? Calculator. <laughs> 82 divided by 3 is 27. I mean, we beat that. But we just do this? Because they can have left if they want to pivot. Maybe they thought, uh... What's his face? Eliath was coming up? Yeah, so we have... 40 middle. I'll go... Uh, whatever. I would have liked to that have gone right. The mystery yeah. Intrigues. Okay. Can I math? Can I use calculator? <laughs> I can use a calculator. And Living Tribunal... Oh, was actually 11 because of the Blue Marvel Onslaught. Okay. So, this deck put out a massive amount of power. Of course, we were assisted with the Limbo, which is fantastic. But 
you can see the the output of this deck and it's a get out of here it's a good showcase for for that with this game Krakoa of course helped but you also saw how with Atuma I can eat that with Venom to stop that destroy from happening which might sound a little odd but you really don't want Atuma destroying on the last turn of the game that's kind of a pretty big drawback so by eating him with Venom you stop that that buffs up your null it discounts your death and now you can Arnim Zola that power away so there are some benefits there and that's why this game is being included. I'm about to demonstrate just what I mean, you see, cause I'm so low.